Hey guys, wanted to do another quick um, kind of walk around of the RSI Smart Cap and talk to you maybe a little more detail about uh, some of the features. But uh, it's got uh, gull wing doors. Uh, it's pretty quick, easy kind of uh, snap out. Boom. See how powerful that is? Uh, it actually has a lot of room here to reach in. On this particular side, I have a battery box and a fridge. But uh, the back... Same same kind of lock system over here. This one doesn't pop up, which I like, and it just kind of comes up slow, but uh, gives you a lot of access. I mean, a whole lot of space here. Let me open this last one. Obviously, I got it up against my awning, which doesn't help. Kind of creates some, some things. Hopefully, it doesn't scratch it or down the road. But uh, yeah, I got, uh, like I mentioned before, I put some stuff up here in terms of some, some Velcro to over the windows. I like the way it kind of looked in terms of adding some kind of darkness and safety, but uh, it has quite a bit of space. I mean, I have a deck system here in my uh, truck and which allows the platform to go a little higher. So to reach in and grab something and pull it out is not that difficult. Uh, maybe if you're down there with a lifted truck, I have a three inch lift on mine. Um, so it's a little higher and I'm not that tall, I'm like five nine, but um, Anyways, uh, it gives you a lot of space. The, the construction is, is phenomenal. I mean, the gas struts are great. You know, the, the, the shape here, um, it uh, doesn't allow any, any dirt to come in. We went some, down some dusty roads. You can kind of see how dusty the truck is. Um, but if you open it up here, there's no dust, none. Like none from today, at least. Uh, that's not th I'm not saying my truck's clean. But uh, it's not dusty. One thing that I did do is I put um, a thick kind of wrap here of the Gorilla Wrap. It's a really thick stuff, and I just basically taped it across the the um, the gap here between the tailgate. And I think that helped a lot in terms of keeping the dust out. But um, one other thing that I really like is the uh, the sleekness of it. So when you shut the gate here, when I shut the side. And I look down the truck, I mean, the lines are so smooth. It just goes right with the Tacoma. It fits super well. Uh, there's also, if you can see in there, I got my tent up here, but there's also a, um, an intake here that kind of gives some negative pressure, uh, which I think helps with the dust and, and also the water. Uh, one thing I did that uh, kind of helped me I did a, a solar system and, and a dual battery, and I, I ended up sliding some of the stuff between the channel here. Uh, Tacomas have a little gap there that a lot of people put something in there to try to keep it weatherproof. Uh, sorry, it looks kind of bad here, but uh, I got a chance to put in my lights. Um, what else did I put up here? Three things of lights, a, a six aug uh, cable going to the starter battery, uh, which, uh, which was great because I didn't have to drill any holes then. Um, so uh, I haven't had a chance to really use the windows so much, but uh, it can handle about, I think it's uh, 700 pounds um, in terms of static weight on top. Right now I probably have about a hundred and, uh, probably about 170 pounds up there, uh, not including the roof rack itself. Uh, that's one thing that I had trouble with a little bit um, is I ended up getting a front runner uh, load bars and then what I had to do is I had to take the stud plate. The stud plate was too wide to fit in the channel right here. So this channel, this thing pops off. Uh, you can slide in the stud plate there. But the RSI was much thinner than the front runner. Same style in terms of the, the, the construction of this. By the way, the roof rails are permanent, uh, which I found out after purchasing. Um, I can't take these roof rails off. You can't swap these out for a different brand because these are integral to the uh structure of the frame so um anyways uh, i had a little trouble with that but uh ended up figuring it out and uh but uh yeah they can take uh take up to 300 pounds i believe uh static i'm sorry dynamic so you know when you're moving around you're on the trail or on the highway you, know, you can put about 330 pounds i think it was and then uh in terms of static weight you know just st something putting on there uh, you can have seven, uh, 700 pounds. So for example, put a rooftop tent, which weighs about 150. You get the load bars, which is another, I don't know, 20 pounds, let's say. I have an ARB awning over here. Uh, that's probably another 20 pounds or so. Um, and then you put a couple, you know, adults up top. 
you're starting to talk about there's quite a bit of weight there but this thing handles it no sweat so uh, i've been really happy with that um the other thing is uh that we have a smart table which i, I threw out in, in the previous video but uh the more and more that i use this table the more and more i love it i mean it, it's just it's, it's light it's very solid it, it looks good uh it fits right up here uh it slides right in so i'll, I'll end up showing you guys that but um yeah no it's been it's been a great addition uh i really enjoy the cap the only thing the downside probably the biggest downside that i would say is the actual uh having to pop these pop these put a key in unlock it uh so i have to slide the key in here and then i have to lock this side so it goes like that and then i have to lock this one and that's a little tedious you know, I, I had a Diamondback before this, and uh, the Diamondback was real simple. And uh, but uh, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting used to it. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's, you know, it's a great setup. Um, I would highly recommend. Uh, you know, for us, it's. I just wanted something different. I didn't want to get any old topper that was, you know, color matched. I kind of wanted something that was a little unique and, and uh, you know, was a little more streamlined. You know, to be honest, and and the strength obviously made it, you know, really a really attractive thing too so um yeah if you have any questions about anything let me know and uh we'll be doing some other videos on some of the other stuff including the um the deck system including the uh dual battery uh so anyways yeah if you have any questions let me know uh otherwise enjoy your day